Yeah. Go read a book, you illiterate son of a bitch. And step up your vocab. Hello, everyone. This is the Classic Press. This is episode number four. And for this episode, I will be discussing something very light, and I mean it this time. (laughs) It was a quick read. This is a book titled Fantastic Mr. Fox by Roal Dal. You may know him for The Big Friendly Giant or The... What is it? What's his name? Charlie in the Chocolate Factory and Matilda. So yes, so this is pretty light. It's a children's book. However, it's a very, not introspective, but more so discusses actual ethical and moral issues so basically the gist of this story or i'm not i'm really trying not to give anything away you have basically three farmers they're in the poultry business as you guess they're enterprising and they make their livelihood off their goods that they generate and then you have mr fox who as you can guess mr fox is uh His characteristics or the tropes of Fox are they're very clever, sly, sneaky. And on the other hand, the former is very rich and enterprising and they're not very well loved. But the issue that I saw that I was just like, wow, if you're teaching morality or philosophy is... um, the question was that was really brought up or that was in the background was when is it okay to steal and because of that it, it allows you to I guess teach that to your children or if you can bring it up or broach that topic to your children I need to look and see what's the age range for this. Yes, it's a children's book, children's author. So I would say between the age of like 8 and 10, who can read this? This book is very easy to read. It took me like 4 or 5 hours to read through it. And um, again, this book is just laced with more questions. Going back to the original story, you have uh, Mr. Fox. Mr. Fox is really represents a marginalized group. I would call him a night crawler, meaning that he steals in order to provide for his family. And he doesn't have an issue with that at all. However, when you think about the farmers, they're impacted because, hey, you're affecting my revenue and you know their inventory so that's an issue and um to combat it to combat what the fox was doing i think the farmers went to the extreme because they were so blindsided by the big picture of what they were attempting to do where they they destroyed something pissed picturesque eh? tongue twisted today while doing that the consequences of that they just basically taught the farmer or caused the farmer to be more innovative in the way he goes about feeding his family meaning he finds a better way to steal a smarter way to steal and again in the overall story is that hey 
Mr. Fox defied the odds. So again, family, what I got, the takeaway from this story was money plus status and does it matter? Does it matter? It's not what does it matter when you steal, but is there, is it all right to steal? And when is it okay to steal? And also, what should be the recourses in these circumstances? Because there were several recourses as it relates to Mr. Fox. Mr. Fox affected a slew of people because of his behavior. And while the farmers who were, who basically were focused on the bigger picture, went and disarmed others, and they couldn't think of any alternative. And then for the while well, for the fox, the alternative was just creating another underground economy, per se that basically benefited him in the end. So again, this was pretty light. I know the last three previous episodes were pretty heavy, but I wanted something like for for me to pay attention to or keep my mind occupied versus all of the technical documents and papers I have to read. So this was pretty pretty good indulgence and uh, actually this was my first book that I read from Dow and you know I may check the other his other compilations or stories that he have uh, he has produced and probably I'll fall in love with those books as well again this was a pretty read a uh, pretty easy read and if you have any children or youngsters amongst your family or your friends just check out go to the library and check it out and um, you will understand what I say is about the how the how the story is laced with moral topics in on one level, it, it, it reads straight through, but if, you know, you're a philosopher or a lawyer, you basically, this will just pop out at you, and it makes you wonder. So, again, everyone, thanks for um, checking me out. I know I have not been the best in being consistent, but life happens, and I'm trying my best to... Uh, to really take the extra step in doing this because I actually enjoy it because it gives me an opportunity to read and escape for a little bit and uh, so yes so check out the next episode I I know the next selection I have in mind but no project that I'm on at work may occupy my time so we shall see it may be another quickie book but uh I'll check uh, yeah you'll you'll find out you'll find out anyways everyone please take care be safe um stay cool out there it's been blazing over here on the east coast so have a good one all right, take care.